Hi everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Delta feature. I'll tell you guys what it is and how to use it. Also, this is only the first video in the Delta series since there's a lot to talk about. Anyways, let's get started. Here are a few features you need to be familiar with in order to understand Delta better. So, the first one is the block, so of course you need to know what a block is, and then you have to understand the parent and child relationship. So, for example, this in this case, this is a parent block over here, no, this is a parent block, and these are children blocks. Next, you also have to understand the Elias plus block reference relationship, So, and what they do together. Let's say I'm going to write um, a sentence, so for example, I need to... Under, understand this okay and I'm talking about the Elias plus block reference relationship so I'm gonna copy the block ref here then I'm gonna take this do command K and then paste it in here so now if I hover over this I'm gonna see Elias's pluck plus block references okay of course, you can also go and check out some of the videos on our channel. We have um, videos explaining aliases and block reference and blocks as well. So I'm going to take an example block. So let's say I have workout, something that I want to do regularly. And you, there's two ways to delta it. You can either press Option Shift Enter like this, or you can press um, you can right click on the bullet and then go on the delta symbol over here. Now, the first thing you want to do is just click on the star, like this, and it's going to bring you to the next day. Now, I'm just going to open the next day in the sidebar so you can see what's happening, oh no, or not, <laughs> and you have this block over here, same thing as you had right here. So I'm just zooming in so it's easier for you guys to understand. Now, if I enter the block, I have um, this over here, that means delta colon 1 plus 2. Now what does that mean? We can think of this as, let's say, the 1 is going to be the x, so the first number is going to be the x, and the second number is going to be the y. And December 28th is going to be day 1. So the 1 is the distance that the next block appearance will be from day 1. So that means that in this case it's 1. That means that when I'm going to press the button again, it's going to bring me 1 day from day 1, which is December 29th. So at the beginning it, it always does this. It's going to bring you the first time you click on it, it's, you're going to go to the following day and then when you click it again it's going to bring you to the same day again. I'm going to teach you how to tweak it so it doesn't do that later on. Okay, again, the Number one, the X in this case, it's just going to, it's the distance that the next block appearance will be from day one, okay? Don't forget, day one is December 28th. Now, the Y is the distance between the next block appearance and the one after that. So you can think of it as an interval, okay? So um, now I'm going to just click on it so you guys can see what it means. Our prediction is that it will be on December 29th again, but then the time after that, it's going to be on December 31st because the 2 is the distance between the next block appearance, so when I click it, and between that one and the one after that, so the interval between the following um, dates. Okay, so let's click it. We're gonna go, you're gonna click on the button here. There's gonna be this little window that appears. You're just gonna press OK. And here we are again on December 29th. Now I'm gonna show you the trail that got left behind. You can see here, I'm just gonna enter December 29th in the sidebar like this. Okay, you can see here, we're just gonna have to focus on the block with the star. That's the trail. You can think of the stars as the trail left behind. This is the one that we're working with right here. So if I go here, this is an Elias and block reference um, combination. So if I go here, you can see there is this uh, node here. This one, it, it, I don't really understand exactly what it does, but if I put it here, for example, it doesn't really do anything. It just stays blank. Now, if I go here, you can see that this block over here, 
this is a block reference. It's a block reference of this block over here. So if I were to take this right here and put it right here, it's going to bring me a block reference of this block over here. So, so that means that this is just an alias of this block. So if I hover over this, it's just going to bring me this block over here that we have right underneath. So next, we're just going to move on. Let's go here and let's go here. After I clicked it, after it's X days from December 28th, so day one plus X. So when I'm going to be on day one plus X, it's going to add two to that the next time I click it. Okay, so I'm going to try to um, do it again. Let's see. Our prediction is uh, December 31st, right? So let's click it again. This window appears. Just going to click on it. And here we go, December 31st. Now, I'm going to show you guys. It has two justifications for being on December 31st. The first one is the fact that um, last time we were when we were on December 29th, it said that... Um, it's going to be uh, day one plus X when that case was three. So 28 plus three is December 31st, right? And the second justification is the first time we were on December 29th where we had one plus two. You can go, you guys can go back in the video and check it. We had one plus two. That meant that next time I click it, it was going to go on December 29th again, but then after that, it was going to go on December 31st. So we have two justifications for why this block's appearance is on December 31st. Okay, now you can also, I'm going to teach you a trick. You can also go on click for references and it's going to bring you on which days you had this block. Next, I'm going to show you guys how you can tweak it. So um, let's go here and let's see again. What does it mean? The 5 is the X, which means that the next time I click on it, it's going to be on uh, day 1 plus X, so 28 plus 5. And then the next one is the Y, which is the distance between the next block, so December 28 plus 5. So let's say day 1 plus X, then plus 2 again. Okay, now. To tweak it, the first number is the easiest to change. It's it's the most direct way to change and to edit your um, delta block. This, if I change it, for example, to 10, that means December 28th plus 10. It's not going to be December 38, of course. It's going to be January 7th. So that means that when I'm going to click it, it's going to be January 7th. Super simple. But let's tr actually, let's try it. So I'm going to click it. Our prediction is January 7th. Click it. Go on OK, and we have January 7th, 2021 here. OK, that worked. Now, if I'm going to change the 2 here, if I change this to 10, it's not going to be right now, it's going to move to 10 days. It's going to be indirect, because when we were on December 20, 31st, it was 10 plus 2. So the 2 is the interval between January 7th and the next date which is, of course, January 9th. So if I change this to 10, it's not going to be January 17th, but it's going to be plus 2 before that, so January 9th, and then plus uh, 10, which is going to be January 19th. So let's try that out. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to go on OK, January 9th, right? And then I'm going to go again, and now it's going to be January 19th. Yeah. Okay, so that was it for my video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget this is only the first video in our Delta series. Next, we're going to learn about what happens when you want to boost um, a block with some children or what happens if you change the plus symbol here to a multiplication symbol. Anyways, see you soon.